Hello, my fellow Slayers, this is Meluncha, and welcome back to Dauntless. Uh, a new patch has arrived, and with the new patch comes the Untamed Wilds, which starts, uh, well, today, Thursday, September the 17th. Uh, we have a new Escalation, uh, we have a new Hunt Pass, of course, we got new Tonics, a new Behemoth in the new Escalation, and we got a new Status Effect. So, yeah, it's a patch with a whole lot of things uh, in it. So yeah, time for me to check them all out. Uh, apparently, we gonna need to do a couple quests to actually be able to unlock the escalation. So we're gonna check our map and we have one over there and one over there. And it says at the top here, as you can see, speak to Granny Strega. So that's the first thing we are gonna do. Well, I am, I'm a busy busy. Uh, Granny Strigga's revitalizing tonics. Granny Strigga wants you to help with a little tonic research. Craft 5 blitz tonics and craft 5 bulwark tonics. A reward is blitz tonics, bulwark tonics, a frenzy tonics and rams and XP. So let's accept that right now. So you must be able to sense it, dearie, the warm invigorating breeze, the new spring in your step, the rich aroma of freshly turned soil that makes your nose crinkle like my second husband's face after he consumed my sample of Catabac Venom for pancake syrup. <laughs> what? You're trying to tell, tell, what? Try to tell, um, tell them apart at three in the morning. I really have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Anywho, you don't need to be an Aethersmith to tell Terra is in the air and it smells charged. Can't help but wonder if all that extra Aether is going to cause trouble with my tonics. Help me craft a few vi vials of the classics. So instantly go to crafting and it seems the crafting menu did change a little bit. Um, so I think we needed to craft blitz tonics because there is a, a marker next to this one. Frenzy tonic is a marker next to life drain. I have no idea. Oh, these are the ones I have actually uh, equipped. So you can actually see now which ones you have equipped and which ones you in the screen for crafting. So that's pretty, pretty nice. And then here we got a exclamation mark telling us that we need to craft up some of these. So let's craft up 10. There we go. And then Blitz Tonics, we needed to craft up a couple. Let's craft them up. We only needed to craft two, I think. Yeah, there's no more exclamation mark next to them. So let's get it on. Granny Strega is sure she can detect traces of charged Ethera in the air, meaning there's a good chance the battle for the Sacred Isles is about to escalate. The Alchemist wants you uh, to help her craft some of the common tonics to see if the charged Aether has any effect on them. Granny Strega wants you to help. Yes, complete. So, completed that one. Experiments in Terra. Time to help Granny Strega Terra test her tonics. Use Blitz Tonic on a hunt two times and use Frenny Frenzy Tonic on a hunt two times. Except, now I know some like to call me a witch, but it's not my fault if people want to ascribe magical powers to me because of my head, clothes, voice and well, cauldron. Okay, maybe that's an understandable. I'm an alchemist and an alchemist is first and foremost devoted to learning through science. In that spirit, sweetie, we have an experiment to run. It's a terror test. Just go out there and hunt as you usually would. But be sure to use some frenzy and blitz tonics while you're at it. Make it back alive and I should be able to learn what I need to know. So there we go, blitz tonics and... Wait, why is our quest vanishing? There we go. So Blitz Tonics on a hunt and Frenzy Tonics. I do believe that I have both equipped. Let's quickly check in our inventory equipment. And then consumables, uh, Blitz and Frenzy. So yeah, we have both of them equipped. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go on a little hunt. It didn't say specifically that we needed to go into a Terra hunt. It just said uh, any hunt. Granny, we are back. What do you know? Even though the charge terror is all over the place, it's making my ears sweat. It hasn't affected my tonics at all. Was hoping that would be the case. It seems that energy is most effective against living aether. Sure would explain these reports 
of Spore Struck Behemoths. Spore Struck Behemoths. Okay. So, time to help Granny Stock out Terra Test her tonics. Use Blitz Tonics and Frenzy Tonics. Complete. Experiment and Terra. Continue. There we go. And no more quests from you. So, now there's two quests available apparently. Get Catherine! Cat thinks you're ready to set sail for the Aetherborn Home Blight. Complete the hunt Terra Escalation 1 to 13. Uh, well, let's accept. No safe harbor. Nice of you to check in, Rook. You're doing good work with Celia and Granny. I haven't visited Celia yet. Don't think I haven't noticed. I think you're ready to face the Ab Aberhorn Blight. At least you're ready to get started. Get out to those islands and escalate your search for Terra. Uh, charge Terra. Uh, you'll likely run to, into a new spore struck behemoth or two. So show me you're ready for surprises. Let's talk. Hey, 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 time to slay. Digging in, <laughs> digging in the in the dirt. Celia, the far slayer, wants you to make sure the remaining Abor. Arbor home. Few refugees reach Ramsgate. Slay two Terra behemoths. Hey, hey, Slayer, hey, 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 Slayer, oh, over here, ho, there you are, what the hell, <laughs> there you are, listen, I need your help, we, we, uh, need your help, uh, the Ar Arbor ho Homers and me, yeah, there are other Far Slayers here now, get used to it, Celia, get used to it, Cel Celia, is she, ref what, how the hell is she talking? Geez, shut up. Anyway, did I say listen? Well, keep listening. Oh, she's actually talking to herself. <laughs> First things, not all of them have made it here yet. The rest of the Far Slayers, Terra Behemoths, can sniff them out, block the way, or worse, hunt them down. But City Slayers won't be as tasty. Clear me a path. Think more. Talk later. Slay two Terra Behemoths. Okay, and then I don't have any other quests, right? So, yeah, let's go on a hunt. And then we have the escalation and terror escalation. And I think we can actually do both quests in here. All right, solo. Let's get in there. I kind of want to go solo because I, I, I just want to explore the new... Okay. Kinda wanna explore the new uh, Terra Escalation. Cause these these new islands they, they always look amazing. Uh, the one that Escalation brings. And usually when you go with a group you don't really have the time to explore and look at your stalker spawns. Killing them grants a bonus to the next time you deal damage to a behemoth. Stacks multiple times. Okay. Something tells me you won't have to look far for your quarry. Good luck to the Okay, this is 1 to 13, so it should be fairly easy. I'm gonna take you through the kills, because yeah, they're basically really easy behemoths. Uh, there should be new behemoths as well, so if I encounter a new one, I'll probably take you through that one. But uh, yeah, these should be fairly easy for everybody to beat. So I'm gonna beat them and then we're gonna take a tour of the islands. Okay, I'm not really sure if you can actually traverse these I these islands. Can you actually get up here? Not sure if there's actually anything to see in the outskirts, but this is something I usually do on, on my own time of today. I kinda wanted to take you through uh, well, it's it's kind of a let's play, so I uh, kind of wanted to take you through things I do when I'm playing solo, and that's just looking at the scenery a little bit. Okay, let's pick an amp. Let's go to the next island. This one is rather violent. Gains islands periodically damage. Troll the hunt, behemoths, lantern holds, attack speed. Yes, attack speed is good. Let's boost over the mines. Okay. We got some homes here. Oh, and a staircase. Can we actually get in there? Is 
staircase to that one staircase here can we can actually get up there somehow ah they're invisible ah they're invisible staircases ah that's 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 kind of crappy i thought you would actually be able to there's no way we can traverse these rocks here i think they're probably made so you can't uh that's that's kind of giant s3 can we get up here yeah like i said this is usually not something i do on camera but i kind of wanted ah come on kind of wanted to take you through the progress of what i actually do when i'm i'm running solo and i find new islands so i uh, thought today i'll bring you guys along for the exploration oh you can get on this oh you can actually get on on here and from here you can oh, i think i missed it i think i missed my step let's try that let's try that again yeah for some players this might not be the thing you actually want to see <laughs> for me this is basically uh some of the fun i'm having in this game especially with new islands looks amazing though okay uh we got two behemoths, Boreas, and Skarn. Let's uh, defeat him. And then we're gonna see if there's anything else we can actually discover on this island. Alright, behemoths are down. I really do wonder if we can get up there. I really do wonder if we can get up there. There's another staircase here, and there's one over here as well. <laughs> let's see yeah this is an invisible one as well i don't think you're supposed to get up there i'm gonna give it one more try this one. Oh, oh, oh! oh is an invisible barrier i think it's an invisible barrier yeah oh i think we I think we made it up. I think we made it up. Can we can we get on here? No, you can't. No, no, I I want to go. I want to go that way. No, 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 don't don't make me drop off. I'm kind of stuck now. Oh, got it. We got it. I love doing this. There needs to be a way that we can get up there. Or is the catwalk invisible as well? Let's try to get on here and then, then we're gonna progress. See if we can actually find some new behemoths. Waterfall, the tree. We could get on the tree, right? Let's, uh... Oh, dancing in the air. No, no. Get up, get up, get up. No! Get up, I said, get up. There we go. Get up on the tree. We couldn't get on this platform. Ah, yeah, screw it. I'm, I'm gonna move on. It looks amazing, though. It looks amazing. They put in a lot of work. And you do gotta hand it to them. Yeah, this do look amazing. I, and now I do wonder if, if maybe the last bosses like between platforms like this uh form shock after 15 successful attacks enter shock form for 10 seconds granting Ooh, that's actually pretty good let's take this one next island to explore Ooh. oh this is this is swampy What the hell is that? Thorn pots and poison blood. Ooh, look at that. And some new abilities, perhaps as well. Oh, he's, he's turning really fast on the dime. That's some sporadic movement there. Oh, 
Whoa, what? Whoa, what the hell is happening? What the hell did it just do? I'm, I'm actually dying. I'm actually dying. What the hell? This is supposed to be level one. Heal, heal, heal. How the hell? <laughs> he's actually killing me. It's because he's moving so sporadic. Like he's he's turning on a dime. He's he's stepping back and then forward again. And what the hell is he doing? Oh, is this the new? The new poison effects. So if you stand in these pools, there's actually a meter going up. And while you're standing in it, you actually take damage. Over time, and I'm still taking damage over time from it. Holy hell, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. Heal, 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 heal. Ah, oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> and actually, he's jumping platforms. Holy hell, nice. That's actually really nice. What the hell is he summoning now? More thorns, okay. Yeah, this is definitely a new... There he goes again. Oh, yeah, the timing is not... Oh, you can mount him? Holy hell, nice! Yeah, I'm gonna stick on you like sore thumbs, baby. So if you jump, and you can basically latch on, so every time you actually make a move, you want to jump up, jump back down, and latch yourself again. So jump up, latch down, attack, jump up, latch down, attack, and you can keep doing this till he throws you off. But you can actually, there is actually jump on them in the Terra now, on the regular behemoths as well. That is basically something that only the, the last behemoths have. Holy hell, this is... And he's down. You're pretty good at this, Captain. Pretty good at this. He, he killed me twice. Yeah, this is on the poison clouds, so you can see actually a bar going up. And if it's up, you if you look at the top, it actually is damaging me over time. And it's actually damaging me a lot over time. Holy hell. Alright, so yeah, something new. This, uh, yeah, this does look, uh, <laughs> kind of poisonous, uh, this area. Holy hell, that was nice. That was a good surprise. You can actually latch on to the, be the regular behemoths now. Well, at least with this one, I'm not sure what the other ones I'm gonna bring. Uh, we got charged Terra Aether. Okay, no idea what it is. Uh, from the ashes, once per round, when you would die, you gain... Increase damage and heal over time for 30 seconds. Refill your flasks. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I think I found my screenshot. <laughs> oh, the green glow and then the swampy, the swampy behind. Yeah, that really looks OP. That really looks nice. What do we got now? Giant mushrooms. Oh, we're actually up the platforms this time. Okay, have a look at the swamp down there. Yeah, this 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 looks amazing. They did a hell of a job. It really, really looks good. Uh, we cannot get to the last behemoth because it's still only uh, level one to thirteen. So, and I'm gonna keep the new behemoths probably for another episode. So, Shrike over here. Let's kill these two and then take a look at the last island that we have here. I hope I don't die to these easy behemoths. And down he goes. So yeah, new uh, the new way is actually towards the giant tree. That's where the last behemoth is gonna be. Ah oh, crap, I totally forgot that I can't explore anymore after I completed it. Uh, I guess uh, I guess we need to explore further once we actually uh, got past level 13 and can actually go to level 50 escalations uh, so yeah let's continue we explored a little bit of the new islands and I yeah again I do have to say they look amazing they really do uh, look amazing
Now you see what the Blight is going to throw at, you, at us and it's only going to get more dangerous when the Agarus re-emerges. We need to keep those beasts pinned in so don't wait too long before heading back to what's left of Old Arbor Home. I've heard Granny Strega and Xelia of all people are scheming to get the Blight with you on a more formal expedition. Granny is looking for spores she wants to try cooking with and Xelia wants to show the other far slayers that there's hope for the future. So complete this quest, no safe harbor, continue. And then let's go to far slayer Xelia. And let's see what she has to say. We can't see a new quest for Granny, although she kind of was talking about it. So, Xelia! Ooh, what'd you bring? The stranded, the arbor, hom homers, they made it. That means you got those terra suckers, right? Of course, behemoth slain, friend save, save is good, not fun, but good. But now, now we start fighting back a lot. So, complete. Digging in the dirt. Complete it and then look at you want to be a slayer want to save the world take more than Wanting to make it so hope you're ready. You're probably not the behemoths you fight are sweet baby rams compared to what the far slayers have seen growth opportunities Xelia so, hopes you can help her uh, help her help the arbor homes refugees Hand in Phoenix Opals, hand in Omnistones, hand in Sky Bloom, Rock Scale and Stone Fragments except Taking back Arbor Home, that's the plan, but plans take time. The Arbor Homers are going to need a place to stay in Ramsgate. Maybe for good, I don't know, but I need help finding stuff. To build with materials, is that what they're called? You're smart, bet you can even spell materials on the first try. <laughs> no, I can't. And the Arbor Homes Terra Weavers aren't strong enough to do it on their own. Not yet. Uh, want to help? Sure, uh, so yeah, let's hand them in and complete the quest and let's continue And we continue its quest expedition to escalation speak to Marcus Boer the quests are all over the place today uh, Here he is I'm uh, not, not a captain yet. So I'm ready for a hunt Expedition to Escalation. Bossom thinks you should check in with Granny and with Xilia. Complete spore problems, complete far away. Homeward, homeward bound lore. Oh, some new lore. What's good word, Cap? I'm keeping busy studying the sky scar charts and Old Arkans etheric weather reports. Can't be too careful when you're sailing into the maelstrom. The Expedition to Escalation. Ship. The bosom thinks you should check in with Granny and Xilia. Complete. Except. Hey there, Skipper. Maybe you heard Granny Strega and Xilia, you know, the Far Slayer, are both looking to join your next expedition to the Arbor Home Blight. They both asked me to make sure we didn't leave without them. Why don't you check in with each of them and make sure they're ready? We got room on the ship, but make sure Granny packs a light. So we got some more quests with Granny. Oh, I love her voice. You listen to me. This needs doing. <laughs> I really love her voice. Granny Strega wants you to help collecting a strange new alchemical ingredients. Complete hunt spore problems. Those poor far slayers, the arbor homes a moldy ruin now, and, and that's a real tragedy. But their loss could be my our opportunity that's right i'll be joining you on the expedition to what's left of those far slayer islands it's the agaric spores sweetie those islands are lousy with them you do you, you to do the gathering and i'll make sure they get back to ramsgate safe and sound without turning anyone into a spore struck monsters come see me when we get there hmm okay and then we're going back to xelia Xelia the Far Slayer wants you to join her expedition to the Arbor Home Blight. Complete the hunt far and away. You see it, the Arbor Home Far Slayers, they're giving up. Giving up. Not right, not good, not going to last either. We're gonna fix this. Well, you are. 
We're going back to Arbor Home, Blight Smith. Uh, gotta show them there's hope. Show them we can fight the Blight. Slay the sports truck. Take it all back. So you know, let's get started. Boston says we sail pretty soon whenever that is. So yeah, we got two new quests. Uh, quest Expedition to Escalation and then under uh, the quest we got Complete Spore Problems and Complete Far Away. If we look at the menu uh, under Hunt, we actually have a new mission menu. So we have Patrol, Pursuit, Escalation, Trials and then we have Missions and Training Grounds. So missions are unique hunts that drive your Slayer personal story forward. So if you look under here, here we can see uh, Far Away and Spore Problem. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty easy one, 325. Uh, breaking a Behemoth's part spawns a pool of poison is the hunt modifier. Uh, but yeah, they're actually basically in a new section mission. So far away, uh, let's do a private hunt. It's pretty, pretty easy uh, mission. So uh, yeah, let's get in there and see if she actually comes along for for the hunt. Ready. Ooh. We're starting on the platform this time. Oh, she's actually here. Look at that. She's actually here. It stinks. Okay, what now? Agarus is bad, but so are the spore struck. Might look familiar, but don't feed the same. Don't fight the same, but they'll die the same. Sooner you go, sooner the fun starts. Do you smell feet? Smell feet? I smell feet. This whole place smells like feet now. And old bread. Stalk you later. What you want? Sure, it's pretty here. Looks nice. Full of life. Plants, lots and lots of green, but the plants are toxic. The green's a swamp and everything living here wants you dead. Agar is bad. Okay, so yeah, that, that's basically all she has to say. Is she actually following me? She's not following me. Hmm. Let's put away our repeater so we can run a little bit. A lot of toxic. Do we need to stand in the toxic? Maybe. Let's stand in it. We take poison damage now and it's stacking up. So it's completely full. And then we get the debuff that keeps on hurting us. And it hurts. Yeah, it, it does hurt a lot, as we noticed earlier. <gasps> Let's jump over. There's actually a behemoth here as well. The prism. Can't can't use the prism. What the hell What the hell is that? Is that a Cherok? A mushroom Cherok? And it throws Oh! It throws poison at us. Okay. Hit spores. Which spores? Ooh! I'm already gonna heal. Just in case. Whoa! Whoa! Yo! 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 Whoa! 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 <laughs> These new behemoths—they always have new, new tricks up their sleeve. I kind of like it. Gotta love it. Oh, man, this toxic is... It's worse than the fire. Oh, what are you gonna do? And another pool. Got 
some lily pads. Whoa! What the hell was that? <laughs> no! No! Uh, no! Ah, crap! I'm actually dying to an easy behemoth. Holy crap! Oh! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, the, a the 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 range of it is big. There we go. That's better. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm really stuck. Holy help! I'm still not sure what I need to do for this quest, just defeat him, maybe? What do I need to grab? Whoa, I had a pool of toxic and he's coming for me. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> need to heal again. Oh, and a jump, and a latch on, and a jump, and a latch on, and a jump. And latch on, here we go, baby! Jump! Latch on! Jump! Latch on! Ah, oh, he pushed me off, damn it! Oh, I so love that! I so love the mechanic! He's almost defeated. And he's dead! Is that what we needed to do? Defeat him? And Burning Guild this morning, Firebrand. Don't get any spores near eyes. Spore struck a Cherok slain. Oh, uh, look at that. Your rank S plus. I didn't really feel like S plus, but nice. Continue. And far away, complete the hunt. Far away, completed. Leaf hunt now. Holy hell. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Is this actually an, uh, a new way for us to get to learn the changed behemoths before we actually go into escalation? Because if this is the case, then we basically will get uh, the, the, pre uh, the behemoth we had during our escalation run uh, again, probably in one of these quests. And it would be a good means to actually let people get to know the, the behemoths and what they uh, what they will do new before they actually go into escalation. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of kind of happy with this quest line. It, uh... Never doubted you much. <laughs> the irony, the light, the fight. I see it in the eyes of the far slayers. I feel it too. You did that, air. Er Airborne home. Airborne home is not gone. As long as we're here, it'll live on and someday we'll take it all back. You've shown us how. Not bad. So complete the hunt far away. Complete it. Some more XP, some more rams. There we go. So now we have one more quest to do and that is a spore problem. But I am gonna leave that quest for the next episode. Else this episode is gonna be way, way too long. And I do believe that after a sport problem and the expedition to escalation, uh, we still have, well, we still have a new behemoth to look into. And I do believe there's still other quests. So, uh, yeah, the, we still have, uh, we have more than, than, than just this uh, to look into. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you want to see more of my quest progression or Let's Play Dauntless, just hit that subscribe button. It would help out a lot. And uh, yeah, as I said before, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.